Hey now. Hey now, hey now, hey now. Hey now. We are live. Let's get the board out. Hey Alice, buona sera. <laughs> bene, bene. How are you doing? Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me, Twitter. You gotta be kidding me, Twitter. This is so funny. Oh my god. Oh, Twitter fucking on some shit. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry you're not feeling well. Um, how is the a the AQI where you are? It's a lot better today. It's in the unhealthy zone instead of the extremely unhealthy zone. We were we were edging towards that hazardous where it's like actually toxic. Thankfully, we didn't hit that, but we were we were in the purple all day yesterday. Uh, the only thing above that is brown, right? Uh, but we dropped down to red today, which normally you'd think red is terrible, but we're going in the right direction. It's supposed to go down to orange tomorrow, but I gotta tell you something about about Twitter, but I'll just wait till I finish doing all my posts and everything, because holy shit, <laughs> that's so funny. Yo, Twitter's stupid. Why is Twitter so dumb? Oh my god. Oh. You're on the border between yellow and orange? Okay. That's not as bad, but... Um, hopefully... See, because you're starting to get it, and I think what's going to happen on the weekend is the wind is going to shift, and it's going to push it all out towards the Atlantic, so it should be a lot better then. Hey, Greg. Well, he's not even the... Um, oh, Final Fantasy 1. Look at that. He's not even the um, the CEO anymore. Some, uh, some lady took over Twitter, and she's been helping to make it suck less I'm not I don't know really much about her or if she's like an idiot or whatnot but I could tell you that um, it's hazy here but it's not orange out like it was yesterday um, I could tell you that she's been reversing a lot of Elon's BS but I know I gotta tell you something about it okay so if you guys remember and this was a while ago let me see if I can find the exact date that it was I tell you what Y'all, let me see if I can... Oh my god, it was in April. Because I've been playing um, Power Watch Simulator for quite a while, right? And I think it was the first or second time that I streamed Power Watch Simulator. I, um, she's kind of whack, but she's competent. It's better than whack and incompetent, right? It was the first or second time I played it, which was in late April, the 27th, I can tell you exactly, because I just looked it up. I put my go live alert, you know, on Twitter, and I said something about, oh, I'm squirting on, twi on Twitch, right? You know, and it's kind of a saucy joke, obviously, but at the same time, it's not exactly what I would call, you know, it's obviously double entendre. It's not like I'm literally not... Squirting. I'm not whipping it out on Twitch and and uh, scratching my leg to completion. I'm not Dark Side Phil. Oh, is Dragon Quest three? Uh, uh, yeah, that's Dragon Quest three. Mm. It's like a Super Nintendo version or something though. 
So, I, obviously, it, it, it... So, for whatever reason, I got slapped with a sensitive warning content. And I'm just like... What? And it doesn't matter because those tweets only matter for the brief amount of time that I'm live, right? And I didn't see the sensitive thing until after I was already not live, and I got an alert saying, that, "Oh, your um, your tweet is limited because of the sensitive content." And just for funsies, because I wanted somebody at Twitter, you know, there's only like three people working there, right? Um, to to read my appeal, which was sort of like, "What the hell, dude?" Like, I think I might have even written like, "What is wrong with you?" You know, like, I'm playing a game where I literally squirt a hose. What are you, dumb? Um, like, it says Power Watch Simulator right in the tweet. So, and, I, and I forgot about it until just now. I was posting on Twitter that I'm going live, and I see an alert. After review, we removed the sensitive content warning from one or more recent tweets. Thank you for helping us catch this mistake. Want to help us improve our appeal process? I kind of do, because it took two months. It took two months. So let's see, let's take this, let's take this survey. Thank you for taking our survey. Your honest feedback will help us improve the appeal process. How satisfied are you with Twitter's appeal process? On a scale from zero to 10, zero being not at all satisfied and 10 being extremely satisfied. Well, they ruled in my favor, so I shouldn't give a zero, right? That's good to hear that they're, they have an air purifier though. New York City is also pretty bad. It's uh, uh, better today, but not as bad as yesterday. Yesterday was like, oh my god, New York City would look like Mars. I'm gonna say two, right? And by the way, why is it a scale from zero to ten? That's an eleven-point scale. Dumb as shit. Based on your recent appeal ex ex appeals experience with Twitter, how much do you agree or disagree with the following statements? Is Twitter used transparent throughout the entire process? How were they transparent? I didn't hear shit from them. That's a zero. Twitter made my voice feel heard after two months. I'll give him a one. I understand Twitter's explanation of its appeals decision. I understand that they fucked up, so we'll give him a ten, yes. Twitter's appeal process is fair. Well, I guess it is fair because they ruled correctly, but it took too long. I'm gonna give him a seven there. Is there anything else you would like to share with us about your appeals experience? It is ridiculous that a tweet designed to let people know I was streaming on Twitch was even flagged to begin with, much less that it took two months to resolve. Less time spent praising Elon and more actually working on the platform would improve this. Maybe distract Elon with something shiny. Like a cat toy. Two months, really? Okay. And just to prove that I um, that I'm actually sending this, I'm gonna show it. There it is. <laughs> Maybe distract Elon with something shiny, like a cat toy. Let's uh, send that there. Okay. So somebody's gonna get to read that. I'm probably gonna make somebody's day, right? <laughs> what? What the hell, man? It occurs to me that when I put this up, it should be below the webcam. There we go. All right. Well, I didn't mean to hide the webcam. Okay. <laughs> oh, man. And it's rough for people to ask me. Like, my mother, um, well, her asthma is pretty under control, but yesterday she was wheezing a bit, and I told her to take her rescue inhaler, and she said, well, let me have a cup of tea and see how I feel after that. And she said the cup of tea did help. Um, I feel like I'm still suffering today, but it's it's less bad, right? And I actually had to go outside for something. That sucked. I tried to, like... I had my, my sleeve over my mouth. I was breathing like... The, it's like some kind of filter. Because it, it doesn't look orange out there anymore. It doesn't look like Mars anymore, but it, it's still hazy. It still smells fucked up. It's still bothering me. Well, you know where to say more. You know where to say more than that. But yeah, I, um... 
hopefully everything's uh, going well with the the air quality is going to improve over the next few days and hopefully they put out these fires yeah I saw where you said that but anyway guys uh yeah I'm excited to play more Sark now I looked into it because I and, it, and literally right before stream, because I recorded my video for YouTube, you know, like, ah, I'm live on YouTube, and I mentioned that we had reached Chapter 2 of the game, right? And I admit it, I have no idea how many chapters Sark actually has. So I looked it up. It has two chapters. <laughs> it has two chapters. So, um, yeah, we're more than halfway through the game already. It's a short game. And my understanding is that because it's like an East-like, they were very much going for... Sark 1 and Sark 2 being together. Um, unfortunately, Sark 2 was never even released on the Super Famicom. Um, there are versions of it that I could potentially play, but obviously not for Thursdays or whatever. But I do like it, though. It's a cool game. I, you know, it's got a funny story. You know, there's hobbits in it for some reason. You know, I'm always down for hobbits. But... They should have put it in 2 and 1 like East. Yeah, but. The thing is, um, they did do that. Only on the Turbo Graphics, though. And I think they were deliberately copying, um, they were deliberately copying East because East 1 and 2 were traditionally sold as two separate games until the Turbo Graphics version came out, which is almost like a, like a big overhaul of it. Like, a, like, it was like a remake. It was like its own game that was East 1 and 2 together. You couldn't play East 2 by itself. You had to play through 1 and, you know. But, uh, you know, it's weird. Like, it might have been something like the Sega Master System version of East 1, where they were thinking, oh, you know, this will do well, and then we'll get to do Part 2, and then maybe it didn't. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah, it, it would have been easy to do that, I'm sure. It's just that I think they were thinking that they were going to make more money this way. Right? Earn being stalked by Loria. <laughs> I, I was like thrown by how 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 present she was in um, which one was it? I think it was the Turbo Graphics version of East Four, uh, Dawn of East. I should try the the Sega Master System version one day. <coughs> the translation is wild. Like I know, like you look at the translation in these old games, like the Turbo version of East One and Two gets Dogie's name wrong. They call him Colin for some reason. And I don't even know how you get from Dogi to Colin. I don't understand that at all. It doesn't make sense to me. But... Uh, in the Sega Master System version of East One, they don't even get Adol's name wrong. They don't even get his name right. They call him Aaron. Like, Aaron? Really? How do you get Adol, Aaron? At least it starts with the same letter, right? It's less weird than going from Dogie to Colin, but it's more weird because he's the guy you're actually playing as. He's not a bit player like Dogie was in the beginning. What game is this? Oh, Ark Rise Fantasia. Okay. So, oh. And just a reminder, we do have, I will be streaming the new episodes of Beavis and Butthead after, uh, after stream on the Discord. We're going to be watching them. Uh, it's two cartoons. One's called Stolen Valor. And the other was called, um, something about dog breeding. I don't know. I read the description on Facebook. I said they were trying to breed a dog, which probably means they're going to try. They're going to, if you notice, there's been a one way that Beavis and Butthead got dumber in the revival is that they never know what animal is anything. Like they were calling raccoons bears and they were calling a pig a dog and, you know, so they'll probably trying to breed some other animal that ain't even a dog, right? But the preview image I saw, they, I saw was from Stolen Valor because it was old Beavis and Butthead hanging out in like um, what I could assume is like a VFW or an American Legion or something. I know what kind of hole this is. It's a butthole. Breeding frenzy. Okay, yeah. Yeah, the description mentioned something about they try to breed dogs. So who knows? Th this season has been hitting pretty hard on all accounts. They haven't done, like, one that I haven't, like... Uh, like, last season, there was just one episode that I didn't care for. Which was the, the the Good Deed one. I didn't really like that one. But so far, this season has been 100%. It's been 
Anyway, guys, I'm ready to play some Sark. So let's get into this. I'm going to play the intro. Here we go. Ah! <coughs> Yeet! We get to go out. We get to go out. We get to go out. Oh. Can't hide the aroma of flowers. You can with shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fire! 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 Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, fire! <laughs> That's exactly what she said. It's something about her ass. Yeah, I get the feeling, though, she's very lonely. She kept talking about her ass. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> you beat me! But now you're going to have to take on the desert route to get the water. Oh, I'm dead as shit. My home planet needs me. Goodbye! Let's, uh... Go down to my pond, I'll teach you the nature of getting quacked out. Fuma's alternate color is fucking whack. He looks like a fucking punk rock banana. Please enter the box. That's what she said. I'm sorry, I couldn't help it. Come on, are you an ass? You think you could prevent me? You can't stop me, I can't be stopped. Oh, I could be stopped by that, though. Oh, punish me, I got a knife. Oh, I'm a naughty... Abomination. Hey now. Hey now, hey now, hey now. Let's play this game. Sark the... I still don't understand why it's called the Art of Visual Stage. That I don't quite get, but let's play. I don't even know what that means, the Art of Visual Stage. Alright, so we're in, we're in the Hobbit place. So, did I ever buy, like, new equipment here, or not? I forget which one of these is a shop. I think, well, this one has an icon on it. Oh, I'm not trying to talk to you, dude. Hobbits. God, this guy's fucking big, stupid face. Look at this guy. Welcome! At least you understand what another story means. Oh, wait, this is just items. I know there's like a equipment shop somewhere around here. Because when I first came into this chapter, I didn't really have the uh, there it is, the uh, the money to buy anything. But um, actually, I think it's this one. It's a magic shop. Oh, the fairy's there. I should talk to her. Welcome. I do not have a big stupid face. All right, let's see. So it's a broadsword. Yubi's older brother brought the last one, so we're sold out. I should probably look for him and talk to him, then. Maybe he'll give me it. Brigadine. Okay. I gotta be level 20 for that. Okay. I have the money, but I don't... I don't... I'm not level 20. I don't even know what level I am. And there's a silver shield, which I need to be level 20 as well. 69. Nope, nope. Nope, nope. I was trying to get out of this. See, like, another story makes sense. What does the art of visual stage mean? Okay, so... What level am I? I am level 18, so it would not take too long to get there. Hey, what's up? Aha! At long last, I found you. Pixie, what are you doing here? When last we met, your level of confidence appeared to be waning, so, um... Uh... Out of curiosity, I decided to find you once more to see how your quest was progressing. Haha, <laughs> Pixie, you're a terrible liar. I know, but I must admit that I'm a little surprised to see how strong you've become. It's truly amazing, <laughs> if you say so. So, just what are you planning to do now that you've tri tracked me down? Nothing really, just remain here for the time being, I suppose. Good luck until next we meet. I feel like, didn't I rescue that little brother dude? Like, sh I should find him? Let me talk to you, actually. Oh, this is King. Thank you for coming to my rescue. That's it? I thought you might give me a sword. Because they were saying that you, uh, bought the last sword, right? Yeah, because I'm using a saber right now. The Adventures of Discount Adel and Navi continue. Yep. Do you really think you'll be able to overcome Bado's forces? I'm a little concerned. Well, you continue to be concerned. I don't know, man. Oh. All right, well, let's go back into the tower and do our thing. Maybe we can continue on past where we were. Mm, the very East-sounding song, too. 
That's that button, okay. Dick. Where'd that other dude go? He's probably hiding back here. Huh? There he is. Oh! And then this song sounds like Lufia. Oh, that's... no. Okay. Wrong way! It's a very Lufia 1-ish song. Oh, damn. He actually hit me. I'll just stop here and heal for a bit. Stab him in the butt. In the booty pipe. Balloon knot. Might as well get these guys. Where? Yo, they always be hiding. I know it's empty. I'm trying to walk around it. There he is. Balloon knot. All right, cool. <coughs> oh god. Ugh. I tell you, the bad air is giving me a headache. That's for sure. Come on. Ooh, booty juice. Let's go. That's probably a trap since it's closed again, and I've been through here. Come back here, you. Oh. Asshole. Butt pipe. Dill hole. Balloon knots, concern. At the Javits Center was <laughs> oh, concert at the <laughs> You know there could be a band called Balloon Knot, you know they'd be like some indie rock band, right? Oh there's a dude here. Oh. He actually hit me. Oh. We are Balloon Knot. We have a new EP out. It's called The Ties That Bind. Yeah, like a Radiohead clone. Exactly like that. That's kind of exactly what I was thinking. Alright. I believe this floor is as far as I've been. Because I rescued that dude, you know. Oh, hello. Yeah, he's doing some damage. Huh. Huh. Huh, fuck off. Damn, he, he put the hurt on me. They're like the shitty beetles. Maybe I should level up to level 20 in, on, like, this floor, right? Let's speed this up a bit. And then go get some of the new equipment that I can get, right? Although I can't get a better sword, I can at least get armor. And a shield. Ugh. Anything down here? Oh, this is where the, these people are, right? The hobbit people. The, the, they're not even, they're gnomes. Ah, Latok, you're looking pretty fit. It must be essential for a guy like you to stay in top shape. What can we do for you? Nothing, thanks. I'll just put your roof back on now. Oh, that, hey, level up. That actually respawns enemies? Let's fucking go. And now each of my health units is 20 hit points. Oh, watch out. Yeah, let me see if I could uh, get to level 20, right? And then at least get the armor. I can't get a sword because he's like, no, we, we sold out of that shit, but... Heal up a bit. Oh, oh he's coming at me, huh? Damn it. Oh. Those guys put the hurt on you, though. Oh, man, they just keep. <laughs> I'm trying to heal, and enemies keep pouring in. Oh, 
Watch out. Oh, asshole. Huh. Shitty beetles, are they any good? They suck. Just to respawn. Bob Odenkirk was in Wayne's World too. I must have seen that movie a bunch of times, but it was before. You know, it was so long ago. It was like before I even really knew who Bob Odenkirk was. Who who was he in the movie? Like, what part was he in? I, I had no idea. Watch out. Oh god, oh god, I'm in trouble. Let him heal a bit. Nerdy Aerosmith fan. That sounds about right. <laughs> oh. Mike Myers must have been obsessed with Aerosmith back in the 90s, right? He always found ways to reference them in, like, everything he did. Oh, I'll have to check it out. Oh my god, there's baby Saul Goodman. Yeah, look at that. Wow. That is... Babby Saul. That is Jimmy McGill right there. <coughs> oh god. It's terrible right now, though. Grab another holes. Doing this one-handed here. Pause. Relax, Elon. I'm not. <laughs> not scratching my leg to completion. One thing about this game that kind of is a little sus is this. Trying to attack downwards, your your range is so small. Or, hey, Moogle, it's real, like, Crystallis shit right there. If you notice, I try to avoid walking down and attacking an enemy. That was my major, major fucking issue with Crystallis. Now, I will say that I like this game more than I like Crystallis, but it still has that issue, unfortunately. Oh, which Pokemon were you playing? Please tell me it's not some saucy ROM hack. Oh god. The slowdown. Got him. Alright. Hey! Charge up fire, backstep up a little. Yeah, that's true, but like the rate, like the basic sword strike had an issue like that, you know, because so much of the sword is overlaid onto his sprite, you have way less effective range. Like, look at how much sword sprite is out there. Look at how much hitbox there is. And especially in a game like this where you're trying to hit them at the very tip of the sword, then to the side. To the side is even better because you, you even have the hilt there, so it's coming out even further. And then look here at how little it's coming out. Hey Zelda man, how's it going? So that's like, it's a very Crystallis sort of issue. It's not as bad as Crystallis, but you'll notice that I try to avoid attacking from that angle for that reason. Especially since like, if you attack with anything but the very tip of the sword, the enemy tends to parry it. What? Oh, a hack of yellow that swaps out Pikachu for for Cormorant from Generation Nine? 
That's weird. Got your beard trimmed. Just going like, like this cray cray. <laughs> I just do it myself when it's needed, and it's needed right now. I actually got to do that real soon. Right now, we're just grinding up to the next level so that I can buy the next tier of equipment because they won't sell it to me unless I'm level 20. It was cray cray cray. It's three crays. Is that the only thing they change is that you get Cormorant instead of... Wait, no, Cormorant's Gen 8, right? Isn't that the one that, like, has the Gulp Missile as its ability? And that's Gen 8. I haven't played a lot of Gen 9 competitive, but I got a little bit into it. And I really like the Terrastalize instead of um, Dynamax, but I didn't play it much. Just don't have the time, really. Well, I don't know, that, post, that picture you posted not too long ago, Gray, you got the little salt and pepper there going, it looks good. Bet you get some bitches like that, though. I'm just messing with you, but I'm just saying it looked good. Oh, okay, so it's not just that. That's a weird choice, though. Like, somebody really, like... Somebody really like Cormoran, and I'm, like I said, I'm pretty sure that's Gen a Gen 8 Pokemon. I, how would they make... Because it doesn't have abilities, how would they make the whole Gulp Missile thing work? I like it when they make it possible to catch everything. It's actually not that hard to hack the games to do that. I could, I could do that with just the randomizer tool. Oh, watch out. Watch out. Watch out. Ooh. 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 Alright. We're at 701. It's not gonna take long. And then we'll go down to the bottom and we'll uh, buy the stuff. Right, just doing this just to make the randomies respawn. So whoever made that ROM hack, just that's like their favorite Pokemon or something. They really like Cormoran. I like Cormoran too, but that's like... Way more, right? <laughs> Gonna level up! Oh. Let myself heal here. You're like, when's the Ninetales hack happen? See, at this point, I'll just walk down, and by the time I get there, I'll have leveled up. Oh, there, I leveled up. You know what? I, well, I, I can use magic to get out of here, right? Wait. Gotta remember how to do that. Eventually, I'll figure out which button is yes. Oh, I actually don't have a warp? Oh, well, that, I'll want to buy that then. It wasn't Ninetales edition? Oh my. Whoa, watch out. What was it then? Just breaks in edition. Yo, Gray, thank you for subbing! 44 months! Ozark Mountains, a place to touch grass with hobbits or something. And to touch the hobbits' grass. And by that I mean pipe weed. Which is not grass. It's not marijuana. Thank you, Gray. Let's have a little party with emotes, guys. If you got them, spam them, because we have a returning sub, and 44 is a big number. I'm not even that old. Let's put some emotes in there. Got some Gibbses in there. There we go. That's the way we do it. Inject one entire marijuana. Yo, what up, Wayne? Too bad the, the guy won't sell me a sword, but... Woo! Watch out. Boop, 
I was wrong. I was incorrect. Can't tell me not to kill every enemy I see. Oh. Wrong. Stab him in the butt. A little bit taupe in the... <laughs> The, the, the cat with the sunglasses is practically like one of Alice's uh, signature emotes, right? Alright. So let me let me make sure that I get a, a, a warp spell. I must have forgotten to do that. A grand welcome to you! This one. There we go. You only need one at a time, I think. He does look trustworthy, yeah. He looks very polite. Alright, let's see. So we're gonna get the, uh... Brigandine. 7,000, no problem, I got that. Shut up and take my money. We got the silver shield. 69, nice. Let's get that. And unfortunately, he doesn't have any broadswords. He says, Yui's older brother bought the last one, so we're all sold out. Let's see. The great sword is also sold out. The plate mail is sold out. And the knight shield... You need to be level 22. Alright. He has that, though. It's just, added, you know, level 22. Persona tactics? Oh. Honestly, you guys know what I'm most excited about from that whole presentation we had today, right? Mortal Kombat 1 trailer, come on. It looks so good. I mean, the, the first trailer was good, but it was like a very, like, this is the story trailer. Maybe I need to... Let me see. If you would, please, I think I need to be alone. All right, okay, so. Maybe we haven't met the brother yet. I thought this guy was the brother of this dude here, but he's not. All right. But actually getting to see gameplay and seeing what the cameo system is like and everything, very cool. Very, very cool. And to see some characters like that we didn't see in the original trailer, like Johnny Cage and Kenshi, it's very, very nice. Y'all know. I'm not just a fan of Mortal Kombat as, as a fighting game, I'm, I'm also, like, into the story. And with this being, like, kind of a hard reboot like that, you know... Well, it's, it, technically it's a soft reboot, right? It's very cool. You know, too bad I couldn't get another sword. But I'm guessing we'll get the broadsword from our brother at some point. I don't know, I thought that guy was the brother, but apparently not. Stab him in the butt. He don't even care. You just keep walking. Like, oh, somebody just stabbed my asshole. I uh, guess I'll just keep walking in the same direction without turning around to deal with that. <laughs> Why would I turn around to deal with somebody stabbing me in the asshole? What the hell do you even think this is? Is it this way? I think so. This looks right. Get him, get him, get him. All right. Oh, watch out. Nah. Y'all, y'all guys can go sark yourselves. Uh, what? What? <laughs> Don't sark yourself, bro. Persona Tactics game, that's interesting, though. 
Is it based on any specific persona, or is it like an original story? Like, what are they doing with that, I wonder? Bro, really? Alright. Well, he don't want to deal with me, so... Oh, here he is! The man, the myth, the legend! And... And now he's dead. Alright. This is all new. Haven't been to this floor yet. Whoa! That's a- that's a me! <laughs> it's a me mic Based on five with some chibi art style? Okay. It's a mimic. This is like me, but it's mimicking me. I, I don't know. Was, I thought it was funny. Oh, it's another mimic. Ugh. Ugh. Damn, really? Oh, no, 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 no. Get away from me. Holy shit, Taki mushrooms. If I got new armor, I probably would have been dead right there without that uh, armor. Holy crapple. Okay, that happened. And I know how to deal with Darkling. Really wish I had a new sword. I'm gonna call them Mimics. And they're fast. They can't move diagonally like, okay, that's how you know. It's like, don't you know your real son? I can move diagonally. And then she shoots the other guy on the rooftop. That happened. That's canon. Whoa, watch out. I don't really want to be dealing with two of these motherfuckers. I got them both? Damn, bro, these guys is fast. They can chew up your health. Naughty golem. Oh, punish me. Oh, stab my dick. Oh, there's the staircase. Right. Oh, and I don't see any skulls or anything, so it's probably safe to grab that. Still make a save though, because there was one that looked sa safe but wasn't. I can't get the chest open; it's covered in rust. Oh, okay. I know how to deal with that. Uh, so I bought some stuff for that. Oh, hello. Yeah, I think it's this is the lubricant. No, how do I do this? There we go. Okay. You use the Venura to open the chest. There's something inside, I would hope so. Yeah, I gotta lube up the chest. Get a nice and lube. You've obtained... Teleport magic. You've obtained... Elixir. Elixir? I barely know her. Damn. Bro, it'd be like that. Okay. What are you talking about? There's never been chest opening music in Dragon Quest. You're thinking Zelda. Zelda has that. East has it. Dragon Quest never had it. Did I get him? I think I got him. Okay. Aight! Aight, bad, bad, bad. Oh, you, like, if it had it, it would sound like that? Alright, fair enough. Alright, this one's also probably safe, but I'll... I'll save anyway. Let me, uh, make a save here. Alright, this one needs lube. You... Tank. 
death spell you've obtained. Elixir. There was a dude. Where is the dude? There's the dude. Oh, stab my dick. Oh. More new enemies. Right, let me save it before I attempt this. Nothing's inside. Oh, that's a trap. That talk is badly hurt. Yo, son of a... What a fall. I didn't have time to react. And just where am I? Ooh. Oh, and it puts you in this spot where you can't get out unless you have teleport magic? That's some dirty, hairy, dirty shit. Alright, we just want to open that one. Bad en it's like, it's not bad enough for the thing to hurt you. These things aren't all that interested in me. That is a giant, that's like the ha 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 room in NES, uh, Dirty Harry, right? I mean, I did get teleport magic from a chest, so I guess they thought of that, but still, it's like, fucky. Because what if you use that teleport magic that you got in the chest and then came back without any? Well, most people did. <laughs> Dirty Harry was bad. Oh, oh my god, these guys can really put the hurt on you. at least a few hit points back. Nah! Yo, you saw how much damage I did? And that's with new armor. I'm also very close to hitting level 21, so there's that. High enough level to drink. I'm gonna save it. Like, hard save. Hard. Well, they certainly didn't get it with the second Dirty Harry. There were, there were like, one or two of them that were pretty good, though. Like, the sequels. But yeah, they didn't get it. I just saved it, so it's like this. You've obtained a death spell. You've obtained an elixir. Oh, don't hide down there. Here he comes. That hurt me too, damn. He wasn't even facing me. Oh god, oh god. Level the fucking fuck up. Sudden impact sucked. I like the Deadpool though, I like that one. But sudden impact sucked. I will save it before I attempt to open this chest. Ah, it's a trap. It was just damage, though, so I'm not, like, too concerned with it. Some invisible force is blocking these stairs. What powerful magic could this be? Anyway, there's no way up with them in this current state. I'd better head back. Hmm, really? Alright, so there's probably somebody that I have to talk to back in the, uh, the town, then. I have two of these, so I won't have to buy one. Did you have anything to say for yourself? Thank you for coming to my rescue. No, that doesn't help much. Try the Maya. Hi, Maya! Do you really think you'll be able to overcome- I'm saying the same thing. Alright. I gotta check on Yui. Oh, the PS2 one? 
Alright, she's not saying anything different. She's a sad, sad hobbit lady with her hairy ass feet. That's a shop. What about the fairy? Good luck until next we meet! That doesn't help me at all. Um, oh, damn it. Heard in the town there's a girl's a ghost that sounds very much like a hobbit. Oh, PS3, that's right. Chest rigger, yeah. We know about the Benura. Gnomes in the tower, we found them, yeah. Oh, here's somebody different. They got a name. You're in luck, buddy. Your friend Pixie came to see you. She was fluttering around down by the armory. Go have a look. She's probably still there. Yeah, but I already... Oh, oh, well, here's something different. Hey, you want to hear something super cool? Then slip me a sweet 500 pieces of gold. That's chump change. You can have it. Here. The tower you could find behind our village is riddled with traps. For example, the ground can collapse in certain rooms. When this happens, you're going to plunge down to the floor below. And make things even worse, you're probably going to find yourself in a locked room. But buddy, today's your lucky day. You want to know how to get out of it? He cough up a little money and I'll tell you. Yeah, go ahead. I, he, good. Now let me tell you what to do. If you want to get out of the room, you need to use some sort of teleportation spell. As far as I know, there's no other way out of there. Do you have any other information? It's got nothing to do with the traps, but lately there's been this guy in the black cape prowling around. Yeah, dark fact, we know. You better watch your hide. Anything else? No. I'm unsure of what to do. We still haven't found her brother. Kane return, you can see him come in. know about that. What if I go back here? This is where I started for chapter two, so I don't know. There's no reason to go back. I mean, yeah, all right. Talk to who again? The fairy? Because that's kind of what I was thinking. He's just saying good luck. So I thought after talking to him, maybe... Oh, damn it. I wasn't trying to... Yeah. I could try all the shopkeepers, right? Everything I sell is... In... Alright, nice. You suck. It's possible that... I've already triggered whatever the uh, I need to do. Kane likes experience to fight, so where could he have gone? No, he couldn't have gone to Zegler Tower, huh? He's back, so don't worry about him. Oh! I can enchant my armor! I bought new armor and I didn't enchant it. Yeah. And the shield as well. Also, come to think of it, I'm unsure if I ever actually equipped the new armor. Uh, that would be the second time I did that. I think I didn't equip it. No wonder I was taking so much damage, right? Yeah, I neglected to equip it. Well, it's all equipped and enchanted now. Alright, um, the only thing I can think of is, oh, damn it. To try again, right? What else could you do? That's probably how I was taking such massive damage from the higher floors. Oh, this ain't it. He's over there. Really? I got him, I think.
Can't see the dude. Damn, my phone going crazy. It just alerted like seven times in a row. Probably see if that's anything important. I don't know. It's not often that you hear just like dong, 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 dong all at once. No. Just some Twitter alerts and stuff like that. All right. You can guess why? What's your guess? Dong's part seven. I didn't even know. Yeah, yeah, I didn't even know they made a part seven. Or I didn't even know they made a part six. They didn't. They just made part seven because like uh, seven is lucky. Well, I knew about that, but that's not why my phone is going off now. It was just some alerts from Quora and Twitter. Sometimes the phone just like likes to give me alerts all at once. And I think it has to do like, cause I notice like if I pick up the phone, it'll suddenly give me like a lot of alerts at once. I think the gyroscope is like, oh, it's being used. Give him all those alerts. But sometimes it's just sitting there and it does that. And I think maybe it just shifts slightly or whatever and decides to give me all my alerts at once. Oh, you know what? I could try talking to the gnomes and see if they know anything about that barrier. Right? I don't think of that till just now. Oh, let it go. Yeah, it's the same thing as usual. Alright. Oh, well. It was worth a shot. Yeah, I'm not taking massive damage from these guys anymore. And I'm assuming the more powerful enemies further up won't completely chew my health up now. Oh my god, it is like <laughs> those little guys that were the blacksmiths in Link to the Past. Oh my god, a lot of uh, mimics. Yeah, his armor's holding up pretty well now. Oh, wrong way, wrong way, wrong way. Really? I didn't know that. Did I just learn something new? From... For Link to the Past, that you, if you use the hammer on that, like, sword that they're banging on, did they get pissed off? I had no idea that. I thought I knew, like, pretty much everything about that game. And you used school in me here. Let me save it. Not that button. Because there's a lot of, like, weird shit like that in Link to the Past, where characters react in different ways based on, you know, like, whatever fucking weird shit you did. And you could- there's a lot of ways to just be a- like, a total shitter to people in Link to the Past, but... This place is not for amateurs? I had no idea! Oh, what flavor ice cream? Bell Rocky Road. Oh, okay, nice. I kind of don't want to know how much my armor would hold up against those Reaper dudes. Some things are better not known.
What's the new flavor? Whoa, what's over there? Oh, another one of them. This dude... Just come out where you're visible, you dumbass. Java Jolt? So what is it like? Obviously something coffee related, right? Oh god. Well, it's not as bad. Coffee ice cream with dark chocolate fl Oh yeah, and a coffee flush squirrel. Oh, baby. Oh yes. Oh there he is, okay. That's my kind of shit right there. Yeah, I can't get past this part. Oh, baby. Let me see if I can find any information on it. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Wait a minute, I just thought of something. Because it, it meant, I, I didn't even get up to this part. But I just remember, didn't I get uh, something last time? Rabby. I, I probably, that's a, the rabbi is probably belonging to somebody in the town, right? I didn't think of that till just now. I forget who it said it belonged to, but... But I think maybe to you, for Yui, right? Let's see. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I think, I think you gotta bring that to Yui. Let me get a, a teleport spell, though, because that was my last one. I mean, like, dark chocolate coffee, and then coffee fudge. I want that in and around my mouth. Oh, no, I don't need lightning ball. I'm good. This is the one I want. Eventually, we're going to figure this shit out, right? Oh wait, I should have equipped it or something. Mm, no. It doesn't give you the option to like press a button, but maybe if I have it equipped. Th this has gotta be for something, right? Damn, I really thought that was it. Maybe this dude, it, it's somebody's like pet or something. Nothing to do with the traps, but like, yeah. Ghost, it sounds like a hobbit. Alright, let me read this. Alright, the gnomes. You go back for the skull, we did that. back, you get the Dispel Magic, you find the Ghost, that's Kane. Oh, okay, there's a skeleton that you gotta, like, talk to. I was forgetting that you do that, because, like, um, I was doing that when I first came in here, I was talking to all the skeletons that I saw, but I forgot to do it today, so, like, um, in the new areas. There's a skeleton you're supposed to... Okay, cool. Alright, yeah, I forgot that that's a thing. That is my bad. It says it's on the fifth floor. 
I forgot that he talks to the dead. And I was doing that at every new skeleton, and then I just like, oh, I forgot that's a thing. Oh god damn. Mm. Sorry about the coughing, you guys, but I'm sure a lot of you guys are also dealing with the same BS. <laughs> also this dude looked like something out of like um Well kind of like Lufia, but I was also thinking like um Illusion of Gaia. Fifth floor, I even said this is all new and I didn't think to talk to the skeletons. Also, the good news is I'm about to level up again. Which I, which would mean I could buy more armor. And I have just about enough money there for it. Well, I have, I have enough. It was, like, it was like 14k for that. I think it was the shield, actually, not the armor, because he didn't have the, the armor. But he had the shield. See, like, okay, I don't think I can do it here, but some skeletons you can talk to. Dude, really? All right, here we go, fifth floor. I bet you it's that one in that, like, empty area there. Naughty Golem. Is this this whole area that doesn't lead to anything? A voice can faintly be heard. Could you please give a message to my sister Yui, who lives in Nemnu? Ah, I'm never gonna get used to hearing the voices of the dead. Won't you please help me? Will you deliver his message? Uh, yeah. I'm glad to hear that you'll help. Tell her this. My darling sister, do not be sad. You need to be strong and keep on living. Thank you for allowing me this final comfort. I will do everything in my power to repay such kindness. Ah, and one more thing. Be cautious if you come across a man dressed in all in black. He has the ability to manipulate the dead. If only I'd known about it earlier. Yeah, I get it. Dark fact. Well, hold on. I have a, a teleport, right? All right, now we're going to make progress, right? Alright, right, let me get a teleport spell so I don't forget to. Oh, I should have waited till I leveled up. It's alright. Don't leave home without it. Try not to eat as many of these because I hate the flavor, but. What's that you say? My brother was. by the man in the black cape? I'm afraid so, but he gave me a message that I was to deliver to you. You tell her the words given to you by her brother's spirit. Big brother. Thank you, Latok, for delivering my brother's last words. Stay strong, you hear me? Your brother wants you to keep living. Yes, you be strong as well. That's it? Hold on, let me see if she says anything different now. You've come once more, Latok. You damn right! All over your face and chest. That's how hobbits get down. 
Take care of yourself, Yui. Yes, don't worry about me. One more time. Alright, I want to see if... Uh, basically, until she repeated herself. Okay, so I probably got to go back to the brother then, right? And let it... Hey, wait a minute. He bought the last sword. Can I, like, take it off his remains? And finally have a broad sword? A sword that is extremely broad? I need my sword to be extremely broad. I can't- I can't fuck with no thin swords. <laughs> Shit, if the cough drop tasted like coffee and black- uh, black chocolate, dark chocolate, that'd be dope. Nope, I was wrong. Ricola. Those are good. I'd be happy just to have like regular ass menthol flavor instead of uh, this cherry shit. I hate cherries. I hate cherries. I hate artificial cherry flavor. I love that Beavis and Butthead di discussion, though, from a couple episodes back, where they were talking about how much they like cherry flavor, but they hate real cherries. Like, you think that it would taste like red because it's red, but it doesn't. It's disgusting. Yeah, fruit sucks. Of course, I still don't know how this is going to get me past that barrier, but at least it's something to do, you know? It's progress. Yo, oh, oh, get him. Sometimes you just need a lozenge, it's true. And sometimes you don't want it to be tasting like red. That was in that one where they were watching that dude chug all the Mountain Dew, right? Oh yeah, and that's one thing that I do a lot of, you know, not just on here, but I'm like recording for, for YouTube and stuff. I use my voice quite a lot. You gotta take care of your throat, you know? Thanks for delivering my message. I feel I may finally rest. Yes, your reward. I almost forgot. Hmm. Please accept this gift. You've received... Broad sword. Hey, it's a sword. Okay, cool. Thanks. I know I'm repeating myself, but be very wary of the man in the black cape. And with that, I can finally begin my eternal rest. Farewell. May you rest in peace. Okay, so first things first. Um, I want to get out of here. I want to equip it, but it's not going to be able to hit a lot of enemies because it's not enchanted. So let me go ahead and get out of here and get it enchanted. Mm. Absolutely. That and sometimes having like some green tea with honey kind of situation, right? A grand welcome to you! Enchant my sword, you ho. 3,500? Alright, do it. Alright, that shit's enchanted. Alright, now let me see if there's anything else I need to do before I uh, go back up there.
according to this, I'm just supposed to go fight the boss. Um, instead of that, oh, I, I didn't buy a teleport. I would like to level up once more, and then I'll be able to get that shield. All right? That makes sense. Oh, no, no, not lightning bolt. I've never used these. <laughs> But I've noticed that this game sometimes doesn't let you progress unless you do certain things that are considered story elements. So like that was like, it seemed like it was like a side quest to get the broadsword, but it was like a story element. So I'm guessing that that's why the game wasn't letting me proceed because I hadn't done that. I also want to see if there's any other corpses I could talk to. And if I could still talk to his. Oh yeah, baby, better sword. Better swords and gardens. Oh, this was wrong. Oh, shit. But it won't take long to level up once I get to the higher uh, levels here. And then buy that shield, get that enchanted, and then we uh, should be ready to go and fight the next boss. Damn it, I always choose wrong. Okay, whatever. Golem juice. Yeah, that was like what? Ginger and um, honey and something else. I wonder if he used the golem juice when he does audiobooks, because, um, you know, Andy Circus did. Oh, lemon juice, that makes sense. Andy Circus did a fantastic, by the way, audio reading of Lord of the Rings. He also did The Hobbit, and coming out very soon is his his uh, reading of The Silmarillion. So he's he's out there. It's a whole lot of shit to read, you know? And I bet those recording sessions get long. And I bet he's doing voices, and I thought, so that's Garland Versus. Stupid and circus. What is he in Marvel movies, precious? Oh, what the hell's wrong with me? Yeah, hopefully I don't get to the point where I need Golem Juice. I don't even have ginger. I have, like, powdered ginger somewhere. Well, actually, I'm out of powdered ginger. Use it when last time I made uh, Chinese food. Oh, I can imagine. I can imagine. Okay, so he's done talking. might have been recorded at a different time, too, you know? Damn it. There we go, got him. No, nothing there that I want. Alright, I was going to see if there's any skulls or anything. John Powell's voice is here. got me doing the golem voice which I shouldn't do very much of to be honest but sometimes I'm a glutton for punishment Wait, hold on is this the one or is it the next one? I think it's oh it, it's got it can't be this one because we haven't even run to those like reaper dudes yeah here they go okay, that drops me down right, the level up is gonna happen right the fuck now 
Alright, let's go back. It's toasty. I wouldn't want to drink like anything that has like straight lemon juice in it though, because oh god, can you imagine the reflux? Can you imagine the reflux? I don't want to imagine the reflux. All right. All right so you should sell me this now. The night chill. Thirteen thousand. Let's see. I can't get this right. Yeah. He, no plate mail. And no great sword. Yeah. I'm sure I'll find them at one point, or maybe another town will have it, but... Not that. That looks like that is the best shield in the game. There's not enough room for another one, though. Alright. Let's get it enchanted, though. Hopefully, hopefully it's not some ridiculous amount of money. Sixty-five hundred. I have just enough for that. Oh, I don't. No, that's my experience. Oh, now. Okay, so I don't have enough. All right, let me just grind some money then. Uh, although I don't. Wait. Oh, the, wait, wait, wait. Pixie was taken by the guy in the black cape. I don't know. All right, all right. Taken, kidnapped, abducted. They disappeared somewhere around Zegler Tower. Oh shit. All right. Look out for chest precious. All right. Um, alright, let me grab a teleport. I'll grab two of them, actually. Oh, I'm not trying to talk to you. Alright, now I will just have to get 6,500. I won't have to worry about enough for a teleport. Okay, cool. So I'll grind up enough to have that enchanted, and then we'll go and we'll fight this next boss. myself. Stabity stabity. I'm always going up there. Get stabby, Flabby. Did you say we have to stab someone? Yes. Yes, let's get stabby, Flabby. Oh, come on. Biatch. I can't believe it took them two weeks to look at my appeal on Twitter. That's amazing. Two weeks. It wasn't even... It, two weeks would be ridiculous. It was two months. <laughs> two weeks would be bad. This was catastrophic. Luckily, it was a tweet that nobody cares about, right? <laughs> Not like it was anything important. I'm not like calling out fucking dumbass or noun or somebody. Come on. 
I'm not getting a lot of money, though. I'm getting a lot of experience, but not a lot of money. Maybe the Reaper guys will be better than the wolf dudes. Calm down, Moogle. Ooh! Out of my way. I've never really needed to worry too much about money in this game. Oh, this is pretty decent. It's not amazing, but it's decent. I don't know if this is the one going up there or not. Don't do that. Don't make a regular save. Save. Oh, no, this is good. Okay. The gold and experience the next level is almost the same. Now it's even closer. But then it will get further apart. Hmm, stab. Ow, that actually hit me. I will actually heal. Oh. I will actually kick this guy's ass. Now I will actually heal. All right, cool. The road to having 6,500 bucks. It's fraught with killing many lava monsters and Grim Reaper dudes. Can drive to sixty five hundred. <laughs> I wonder if it's true that Sammy Davis, no, Sammy Davis, Sammy Hagar isn't capable of driving fifty five miles per hour. My Maserati does one eighty five. I lost my license, now I don't drive. Really? A pretty memorable song, though. He's oh, so it's like speed, but with... Sammy Hagar? Or I called Sammy Davis for some reason? That reason being that I'm dumb as hell. There we go. Alright. I have two of these, so I don't have to worry about uh, buying another one. Otherwise, I'd need another 700. Of course, I don't know if I need another one, but it's good to have them, you know? Rage against the praline. That could be, like, a fun thing to talk about, like, if, like, rock songs were very literal. Like... Sammy Davis. Sammy Davis. He keeps doing it. Sammy Hagar is like physically incapable of dri driving 55 miles per hour, or he explodes. Cast your spell, wizard. All right. Apparently, there's a boss. We're gonna kick his ass, maybe. 
save it. Ah. Yeah, I know, dude. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what's interesting, though, is the guy warns you, oh, that, you know, not only does he tell you about the rigged, uh, the rigged, um, chests, but he mentions that they've killed adventurers over the years, which is why there's, like, skulls and shit around them. But then if you really think about it, what's really interesting about it is that, um, I think it's this way, actually. The, um, nope, oh, I was wrong. After a certain point, there were no more indicators of, like, skulls and shit around rig chess, and I'm thinking maybe that's because nobody got that far. Sort of a visual storytelling, right? It's too demanding. There you go, yeah. I want you show me the way every day and you're like every day come on peter that's a little bit much i show you the way once or twice you should start to remember it on your own <laughs> what other songs can we take way too literally <laughs> that's a good one My jock. I want you. That's in my head now. Show me the way. Every day, really? In a row? Bump this dude to death. Come on, eat my shit. Eat my melted shit. It's not quite east, but it sure as hell ain't Lagoon. You <laughs> sure as hell ain't. Yo, what up, Taco? We were talking about taking rock songs way too literally. Oh, I got one for Moogle. Foxy Lady uh, by, by Jimi Hendrix. He must have been very disappointed. But... Lady. And Moogle's like, proceed. <laughs> I still say it. That Mike dude that comes in here likes to say it a lot. Like, ah, he sure ate your melted shit. He's like, he sure did. <clears throat> Does anybody know where I actually got eat my melted shit from? Let's see if anybody knows. This is not my my creation. I may have popularized it among you guys and <laughs> nobody else, but I was not the one who came up with it. Fox on the run? No, it was definitely not AVGN. I don't remember him ever saying, eat my melted shit. It was the angry German kid, which was, a, it was not a real video. It was like something that was, you know, made to be funny. But it was like this German kid trying to play like Unreal Tournament or something. And he's just like, he's raging before he even gets the game up. And he's like freaking out and breaking the keyboard and shit. And then he's like, before he, then he finally gets into the game. He's just like, it's loading too long. And, you know, and then the password is fine. His internet ain't good. You know, and he finally gets in and he's like, ah, ah. And he's yelling in German the whole time. So you go by the subtitles and he's, no, no, it was not World of Warcraft. It was, I remember it was Unreal Tournament. Um, because I remember what the subtitle said. And eventually he, he says something like, Yes, yes, eat my melted shit. And I'm like, it's like, that's a great line. But he said it in German. You know? Uh, I don't know how to say melted. Uh, in German. It's Essen mein Scheiße is eat my shit. But I have no idea how to say melted. Okay, I don't know the song Fox on the Run. Who did that? 
That's a, definitely Foxy Lady. That would Moogle would take that literally and be very disappointed. Moogle's here. I don't know where he went. He was he was here a minute ago. Get this guy. Get him, cat. Yeah. Oh, fuck off. Foxy Lady. Of course, there's like the doors, right? We just played those, the doors on uh, Music Appreciation. Come on, baby, light my fire. Could lead to Jim Morrison being lit on fire. Not good. Hey, he was here a minute ago. He'll be back, I'm sure. Is the boss. Here we go. What's up, dude? Hee hee hee. It's dark fact. It's dank fact. Yeah, break on through to the other side like the Kool-Aid man comes through. Ooh, yeah! I see you have finally arrived, descendant of Duel. You, are you the one who abducted Pixie? <laughs> of course, you. of what you ask, yes. It was I. I am the one they call Necromancer. Free Pixie at once or else. Okay, he's Sauron. I would like to, but... Whether or not I do so depends solely on your ability in combat. What? You're out of your mind. I will make you realize just how stupid it is to oppose the great Bado. <laughs> How long do you think you'll be, you'll be able to withstand my legion of the undead? Prepare yourself, wretched human. Oh, oh, all right. Zombies! Well, we listened to the first one, and we also listened to L.A. Woman. Uh, they're both great albums. They never really made one as good as the first album, but they they were really good. I, I enjoyed doing it. It's been a, It had been a long time since I heard some of those songs, you know? Come to me. All right, here we go. All right. Oh God. Can I hit him? Apparently not. Come on, what you got? No? Oh. You're doing well for someone so insignificant. But I can summon an infinite number of these twisted souls to fight in my stead. How about you just fight in your own stead? Oh, okay. It won't be easy. People are strange when you're a stranger. Faces seem, say, faces seem twisted. Women seem cold when you're unwanted. Is that so? Do you wish to do battle with more of the undead? No, not particularly. I was hoping to do battle with you. My armor's too good for these guys to even hurt me. See what I'm talking about? That hit me and I didn't take any damage. That brute means you got hit. Come on, what you got? What you got? What you got? Come on, fight me, bitch. You still do not understand, do you, fool? You can kill as many as you like, but it will change nothing. Change your underwear. Show me the way to the next whiskey bar. It's like, damn, Jim Morrison don't even know where there's a bar. I know that's a cover song. So. The Doors version was very uh, memorable. Such disrespect for one's life. You're as stubborn as a mule. Hmm. What shall I summon next? Summon these nuts. Oh, okay. Whoa, watch out. Oh, I actually took damage. Watch out. Not a lot of damage, but I took damage. Oh, watch out, watch out, watch out. Watch out. Oh, that's so weird. I gotta find that cover. Come on. Come on, fight me. You're, you're boring. You're quite the resourceful fellow, I see. <laughs> if I were you, I'd send up for the great Bado's personal guard. And I'm not exaggerating. We could use people like you. Well, what do you think of my offer? Will you sign up and become bodyguard of the great Bado? No. Working with all these corpses has rotted your brain. I'd never team up with the likes of you. What a shame for you, young fool. I'll be seeing you again real soon. Ah, that jerk. Wait, he, he left? He escaped. Damn it all. Wait, where's Pixie? What?
You're probably right. Show me the way to your next whiskey bar. Oh, don't ask why. I found out that that song is actually, was originally in German, and all of the English lyrics were just basically nonsense that were made to fit the meter of it. All right, so we found, uh, we're in hell. Okay, cool, we found hell. And I'm fighting literal piles of shit, cool. Gotcha, okay. Oh, watch out. Then you could ask Google Maps to actually show you the way. Hell! We come to hell! You'd ask Google Maps to actually show you the way to the next whiskey bar. Like looking around more, you know. See if there's anything in this direction. There is a whole area here. It's a dead end. Come on, baby, love. It was a lot of fun to do the doors. We'll have to do them again at some point, play some of the other albums. I mean, we played like the most famous album, and of course, like another LA Woman was another great one, but they had a few other really good albums. And yeah, you gotta send me that, that's why. I'll just post it in the uh, the images and sounds. Anything here? Oh, look at this, I found something, okay. About to level up. Level the fucking fuck up, fuck. Oh, 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 he chewed up my health pretty fast. Which late 60s or early 70s artist or band would be difficult for you to listen to in a music stream? Why, do you mean, like, are you basically asking me, like, what music from that era I dislike? It's like a room here or something. Let's see what this is. Yeah, I don't really like the Grateful Dead. I like the Rolling Stones, either. In the smoke-filled room of the lava fort, there's a chest that holds the ultimate armor. <laughs> However, in order to open it, one must have attained a specific level of experience. Interesting. There's people here. Okay. Poor Rachel. Yeah. Poor Rachel. Ooh. Ouch. A gang of monsters got the drop on me. I don't know what the hell got into the bastards. To do what to do something wrong who are you my name is latok me i'm rachel why are you crying it's my little brother the child you're holding in your arms yes he's so young you see but he's fallen so seriously ill are you all alone her father our father left for the flame fort all by himself he thought that he could find a remedy inside the, its walls but that place is teeming with monsters it's already been three days since he left, and he has not returned. I'm sorry to hear that. Hey, Evie! Bullfooties nuts! Velvet Underground, I would maybe play, like, the first little bit of it, right? When Nico was still there. But yeah, they're, they're TD. I'm not a big fan of the Velvet Underground. Um, like I said, that, for that era, yeah, Velvet Underground, un, um, Grateful Dead, Rolling Stones, I don't like any of those. They had, like, three good... So yeah, that's true. I'm sorry to hear that. Maybe you. Would he be asking too much of you to check and see if he's doing all right? I'm very concerned about him. Will you go to the flame fort? I was probably going to go there anyway. Yes. Oh, wrong button. Ha, thanks. Thank you so much. I'll set out right away to explore the fort and look for your father. Oh, I won't listen. I, I won't do that. I, I, I hate that fucking guy, that Iggy Pop. He, he's a piece of shit. I don't support him. Wait, take this with you. You receive flame mantle. Cool. 
This cape will protect you from intense heat. With it, you'll be able to move freely through the flame without getting burned. I'm certain it will greatly aid you in rescuing my father. That is, if he isn't already. Don't worry about a thing. I'm sure I'll find him. So, EB, remember when I uh, first started playing Power Wash Sim? And I had posted a tweet when I went live, like something about I was squirting all over Twitch. And it got like an... Um, restricted because this is like sensitive content. I just got the alert like today, like right as I was going live, that they removed the sensitive label on it. Ah, you sure look like an adventurer to me. I've been waiting for someone like you. What's the matter? Monsters have assaulted the flame fort. Really? Have they already gotten here too? Latak quickly told the old man the whole story. Is that so? They had the same problem over at Fort Morma? Mo Morma? 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 Yeah, I would, I would wait on any voice things because my throat has been really rough from all this, um... The bad air. So, I click on it, right? And it takes me to a survey that asks, like, what I think of the appeal process, and I gave it all, like, all, like, really low ratings, and it was like, it shouldn't have taken two months to realize that there was nothing wrong with this tweet. That's ridiculous. And I said something like, uh, perhaps less praising Elon and more actual work would have gotten this done faster. Maybe distract Elon with something shiny, like a cat toy. All the same, I... Is something the matter? Nah, it's nothing. Just something that I just now thought of. It may be an old story, but I heard it said that only the descendant of a god could defeat and seal away Bado. Likewise, the only one who could set him free would also need to be a descendant of a god. Are you saying that the one who released Bado is someone like me? I'm afraid so. But who could it be? Alright. I'm guessing across that bridge is where the flame fort- Oh! Hello! Yeah, but, yeah, because my throat's been rough because of all the smoke and everything, so I would really say, let's wait until this, like, kind of crisis that we're having is passed. Because we've, we've gone down from, from being in the purple to being in the red today. But, uh, it, it's bad still. So that flame mantle... Well, that will replace the mantle that I used to heal in the tower? Let me look at that. Oh, wrong button. I mean, maybe I only needed the life mantle in that tower? Because that was the first time a dungeon didn't let me heal inside of it. Oh! Bo, 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 bo. Over this way. Some Sega Genesis ass music. And they keep coming all over my face and chest. I can't heal e here either without the that mantle, it seems. That sucks. Alright, well, let me just put the life mantle on until such a point where I need the flame mantle. These enemies keep... arriving. They're coming all over my face and chest. A smart litter bo- What? What is it, text you to let you know that your cat took a shit? Ooh, these guys can chew up your health. It's the first time I've been actually damaged by one. Oh my god. Does it know the difference between a piss and a shit? <laughs> they can smell, thanks. It makes charts? You need like a piss and shit? Kitty cat pie chart? Or a line graph? That is really fucking stupid. I kind of hate that. One second. Whoa, hold on. I'm trying to. Just a second here for a 
Sorry about that. Yeah, let me know when you post it because I want to look at it. The most bougie of cats? For real, right? Damn. Oh. That's a fucking new enemy. Haughty ass cats. How dare you, human? I'm gonna shit in your shoes for this. Let me, uh, look at that. Real quick. Smart litter box monitor system. Oh my god, and it calls them events. It, it calls them events? Amazing. Spectacular. That is the dumbest thing I've ever heard in my life. That is pretty bad. I mean, okay, it's not the dumbest thing I've ever heard, but it's, it's like in the top 20, right? Oh, okay, it looks like I'll need the flame mantle to get through things like that. Karen approved. Yeah. You open the chest. There's something inside. You've obtained... Death spell. Yeah, like, I'm gonna host an event. It's gonna be cool. Obtained Lightning Bolt. You've obtained Lightning Bolt. It could just tell me I've obtained two lightning bolts. I had to go through that. There's something inside. You've obtained Elixir. 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 Oh. Oh. Oh, wait, that's where it came from. My bad, my bad. Ooh, naughty hot golem. It's a hot, naughty golem. Go back to Fantasy Star. Oh. Oh, there's a staircase, but I saw another chest on the other side, too, so I should check that out. Oh, God. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, God, where am I even? Okay. Let's see. You've obtained... Uh, elixir. Probably should just keep the flame mantle the flame mantle off unless I need it, right? That way I always have a life mantle. Oh, probably not. See, like with the Friday streams, I'm trying to redo like stuff that didn't have like widescreen webcam, that kind of stuff, right? Um, that's a more recent let's play, so you know. Oh, oh, I can't teleport in here. I wasn't even trying to, but okay. Let me take that off so it doesn't. Okay, so I saw, like, down here somewhere. Oh. That's not the one I saw earlier, though, is it? No, I didn't like Fantasy Star 2. Oh, God. That's the one. All right. So, I don't know which mantle I have on right now. Flame. Okay, we're good. Hot naughty golems in your area. Huh. You've obtained... An elixir. Okay. So I don't know about that flooded room. I'll have to figure that out. Well, let me try to get to the, the one over here that I just saw. Where was that? I just saw a, a staircase around here. 
Yeah, Moogle's exact words for Fantasy Star 2 is rough. He says everything's rough, but I think he might just be barking. Yo, the enemies around here kind of cray cray cray. It's funny because like everybody talks about it was like like it was such a popular, well beloved game. Thank you, Gray. There's the staircase I saw. I'll need the flame mantle. If only I could heal in here, right? More treasures. The meat was rough, and the rest was grr. This review sounds like it was written by a dog. Lightning bolt. Okay. You've obtained... Gas mask. I guess if I need a gas mask... Why does the wall look funny there, yeah? You see that? Then again, it looks like that over here. Maybe I'm just tripping. That does happen, but I'm glad it went well, though. I was wondering. I love when the guy is hiring him, and he's like, I need somebody who doesn't immediately poo-poo everything he eats. Nah, it usually takes me a few hours. Like, goddamn Homer never change, right? Hey, look, more games should try to be East and be good at it, right? Oh, man. All right. Oh god. A sci-fi East Lake? Hmm. I know a sci-fi Dragon Quest clone, but it's not very good. <laughs> it's on the Famicom, it's called Stargazer, and it's considered a, a Kusuge. One of the earliest examples of a game being called Kusuge. You definitely have to slow down in this place. What's weird is that Stargazer was a remake of one that was more like a PC RPG, and they were like, oh, shit, this Dragon Quest shit has taken off. Let's make remake Stargazer, but make it like Dragon Quest. And it didn't really, uh, yeah. We got hot dogs. Oh, God. Oh, no! Oh! Damn! You saw how fast my health got chewed up there? Holy shit! Thankfully, I save pretty often, but I'm all the way back here, which means I gotta fight that fucking necromancer again. Or, not fight the necromancer, but fight his fucking buddies. That sucked. I got, like, murdered in, like, three seconds. You're like, hot dogs? And I'm not talking about food. Although I will put them in my mouth. Alright, that's enough. Moogle was here earlier, but we should, like, not go too hard, you know, if he's not actually here. It... I'm sure he'll pop up again, but... It's the lamest boss ever. You just fight waves of really weak enemies. <laughs> Only the final wave even had enough to d power to damage me.
Yeah, I've never played Stargazer either, but I read about it, and apparently it's peak peak kusoge. I'm trying to force my way through, but. That was wild! Alright, these are the ones that can actually do damage. Like right there. But I think this is the last round, so... The worst Kusoge I've played? Well, see, by the definition of a Kusoge, not just being the literal, like, poop game, right? But, um... It's supposed to be a bad game that has a little bit of charm to it. You know? So I don't know, like I've played some really terrible, terrible piece of shit games that have like no redeeming functions whatsoever. Like I would say that, like for example, Eternal Felane is a Kusoge, right? Because that was kind of a bad game, but it had charm. Does Convoy no Naso have charm though? Like is there a bit, is there, like, I don't know. Oh, God. I'm not looking to get killed again so soon. Let's just move. Right, let me let me save it so I don't have to fight that guy again. Hey, see? There's Moogle. Welcome back. Not like you said you were going anywhere, but... I figured it was that. Your internet shits out way too much. Like, you realize it's not normal for internet to shit out that often. You gotta get, like, a new modem or a new router or a new microwave or something. Oh, well, gotta go this way and get the flame mantle, right? I'm trying to heal and these guys keep coming near me. I've heard more that that one's just kind of dull. Which is the worst kind of bad game where it's dull. Alright, cool. Alright. Just quickly go through this. I'll save before entering the flame for it again so that I don't have to worry about all this again. Well, we were talking specifically about, oh, damn it, Kusoge, which is a specific type of shitty game where they're like, there's some charm to it. All right, back to the flame fort. Hopefully I don't get killed <laughs> so quick. I can't believe how fast my health went down there. I was nuts. I was nucking futs. Those dogs were like, you want to get nuts? Let's get nuts. Level the fucking fuck up, fuck. Let me save it here, actually. So each health bar thing is 30 hit points now. But no, I told you. I remember Moogle said it was rough, but then again, he might have been barking. Why would they bother doing that when... One of the greatest Batman movies already already... Put a different spin on it. And I'm referring, of course, to Batman Return of the Cape Crusaders. Starring the incomparable Adam West as Batman. I'm so glad he got to come back and play Batman two more times in his old age. Fucking really fun movies. Even if the second one wasn't as good, it was still more Adam West Batman. Oh, we're gonna watch that soon? Nice! Batman vs. Two-Face, I felt like... The weak point there was, and I thought it was going to be a strong point, but for me the weak point was um, Will Shatner as uh, as Two Face. I thought he was perfect, but he played it a little too straight. I felt. Yeah, I guess I don't really know anybody that likes Fantasy Star Two 
despite it being such a you know popular game that people widely consider a classic. Maybe maybe how much people think it's a classic is kind of overwrought because I never hear anybody say anything good about it. Yeah, the movie came out already. It was called Batman vs. Two-Face, but it, I felt Shatner played it a little too straight. Like, he wasn't leaning into how goofy 60s Batman is, and he wasn't being as hammy as you would like. You know what I mean? I thought, like, oh, it's perfect, because if they ever had Two-Face, you know, in the Batman show, like, I think Shatner would have been a perfect guy to play him, you know, especially he was a big star in the 60s. But, um, yeah... It was still really good. Um, not as good as Return of the Cape Crusaders, but still really good. Right. I gotta go pick up all the treasures that I picked up before and then died. Yeah, he wasn't really that hammy. It was he was like, actually trying to like act good. It's like, dude, come on. We need the full shat, right? We need some shitty shat. It's not the same without shitty shat. Whoa, watch out. I actually use one of these elixirs. How many elixirs do I have right now? Holy crap. Where are they even? I have 11 elixirs. Maybe I should... Billy D. Williams, yeah. That was a cool... That they, they got... He got... I mean, it was such a minor role when you look at it, but... There was nothing about the Lego Batman movie that wasn't, like, just amazing. Hold on, am I on Flame Mantle? Yes, I am. Okay. There was nothing bad about it. Like, that movie was, like, pretty much fucking perfect. Okay, so when I go to the next floor, those dogs are really nasty. Hopefully I don't get immediately murdered by them again, but I'll save before I go up the stairs. Man, even those guys are chewing my health up. So I have the best armor I can have right now, and it's all enchanted properly, but goddamn. He really thought he was going to get to play Two-Face when he took the Harvey Dent role in, in the first, you know, Tim Burton Batman, but... I kind of fucked him over. I think Marlon Wayans was also another one that was kind of fucked over. Because he was supposed to be Robin, and he never got to play Robin. Uh, let me do not do this. I mean, he did play Harvey Dent, but but when it came time to bring Two Face into the movies, they were like, "No, nah, we want we want Tommy Lee Jones." And I gotta admit, Tommy Lee Jones was a really good choice, but it just kind of sucked for Billy D. Williams, you know. Oh, save it, save it, save it! I'm not getting killed again, or if I am, I'm not having to go as far back. All right, so these guys are really, really strong. Oh, God. They might have been over the top, but that was the point of that. Because you got to remember that, like, Batman Forever was supposed to be sort of like a tribute to the, uh... The 60s Batman, you know, like it was basically like a like a live action, like, a, like an Adam West thing. Oh God, look at how much health it took! Watch out! Watch out! Watch out! Mm, 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 mm. Oh my God, I need better armor. Armor, hot dogs. The dogs, kids love to buy. <laughs> All right, so there's another, uh... There's a staircase there. Flaming hot bitches. Calm down, Moog. 
down on the first floor again. Oh, it's another, like... Oh, okay, okay. Alright, I thought that was, like, a flooded or something, but it's, like... It's, like, Dragon Quest electric floors. Alright, so we're not... We're not able to go into those rooms yet. I thought it was, like, filled with water or something, but... Indigo? Does that represent compassion? Let me just save it real quick. Oh, here we go. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, watch out. Oh. Well, good thing I just saved it. They seem to do, like, random damage. Like, the damage they do is so fucking random. Where is this guy? Oh, there he is. Okay. Oh, God. Like, sometimes they do, like, less than half health, and sometimes they do way more than half health. Like, bro, calm down, right? Okay. Oh god, some wild looking knights up in there. Alright, get in there. Okay, these guys can really hurt me too. Oh god, there's a freaking dog. Hold on. Oh god, wrong button. Ah. Alright, cool, cool, cool. This looks like another one of those rooms, though. I'm not gonna be able to get through that. Um. Oh wait, there's that other room that with the treasures that I didn't get. I just remembered that. I can't. Oh, can't see where I am. Ah, oh, Fungul. You gotta be kidding me. Once you get to the second floor, the enemies are wild. Oh god, get away. Oh, I wasn't wanting to fight these guys, but now I'm probably gonna fight them all. Oh god. Alright. Uh, 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 uh. Get out of there. Very close to a level up. So I can't go that way. Watch out. Level the fucking fuck up, fuck. save it because I did level up, right? It's a good time to save it, I think. Holy shit. Yeah, there was that other staircase that went up to the second floor, but that was just a room with treasures, but I still should get that. I forgot to do that. But it seems like every uh, every way that I can go leads to one of those, like, hazy rooms where you take mad crazy damage. Well, I don't think there's any enemies here, but still, it's like, what the fuck, right? Save 
I already got these before, so... Lightning bolt. Oh, that's right! The gas mask could probably get me through those hazy rooms! Duh! How could I not think of that? Duh! Duh! Let me equip that. I wasn't even thinking of the gas mask. Oh, but... Okay, so it's either fire... Oh, okay. Well, first, let's put this on. Why couldn't you use a mantle and a gas mask at the same time? That seems odd. The gas mask comes with its own cape, maybe? I don't know. Well, I'm gonna keep the... the, the flame one on for now. trying to heal, but I don't have the healing thing on. Okay. I know of two places that has that hazy shit. And they're both past some dangerous crap. Sudden difficulty spike is sudden, huh? Wait, no. Dude. Wrong way. I didn't even think of that before, that that's gas. And there's a gas mask. The one. Oh God! Watch out! Oh no! Oh, that's real bad. And I'm dead. Okay. Well, that's a good thing I just saved it. Y'all, those dogs don't fucking play, dude. Who who let the fucking dogs out? Who let the fucking dogs out? Oh God. Watch out. Yeesh! this gas mask on. Oh. So you gotta deal with gas and you gotta deal with the enemies. But like a certain... So not you not caring about gas, right? They don't give a fuck. There's nobody here. Okay. Oh. Alright. Oh, there's a dude here. There's someone lying here. It looks like he's unconscious. Let me see if I can rouse him. Hey, what happened? Are you all right, sir? Oh, huh? Ah, he's coming around. What, what happened to me? Oh, who are you? I'm Latuck, sir. Might you be Rachel's father? Yes, I am. You know my daughter? Why, yes, she's been very worried about you. She asked me to find you and see if everything is okay. Let's head back now so she can put her mind at rest. What the? Huh? That noise, I think it came from the room with the flowing lava. 
What could it mean? Let me check here first. Oh, okay, look at that. You've obtained... An elixir, okay. And a lightning ball. Right. And you also got another lightning ball. <laughs> you can actually see the gas mask on his sprite. I didn't notice that until just now. What's this? Can't seem to read that or deal with that, so. Ah! Obtain death spell. All right, let me um put this on and heal. I wonder. Let me see some real quick. Yeah, you could even see him where it's it's red instead of blue, but you could see him wearing a cape when he has a mantle on. That's kind of cool. Oh, not that. All right, let's put the gas mask on and also save it. And let's see what happened in here. Oh, the bridge is gone. The bridge is gone. What could have happened to it? Yeah, it didn't happen in every East game, but there were a few that it did do that. What? How the... What happened to the bridge? The mechanism that activates it must be out of service. What should we do then? Well, I'm guessing it's whatever's over here. Wanderers from East didn't really do that, but um, Ark of Napishtim did. That's not doing anything. He has no ideas. All right, let me look into this real quick. Apparently, I'm just supposed to keep talking to him. All right, buddy. Could you help me by taking me to the room on the right? You see, I hurt my leg. Uh-huh. Okay, I'll help you out. This one, right? Or maybe he meant the middle room. You, Because it, it's to the right of him. Oh, here we go. Hey, you can leave me here. Yeah, no problem. By using this device... We can raise the bridge manually. Are you certain? But it will only stay up if this lever is continuously being pulled. Oh, really? Yes, as soon as you let go, the bridge will lower again. Then that means... That's right, someone will need to remain here to operate the mechanism. So how will we... There's no other way for us to... Go now, hurry up! What? I'm the one who needs to stay here. You saw what state I'm in. Even if I can get past this bridge, I'll just slow you down. Do you want to leave? I guess yes. Well, okay. Oh, yeah. And take this with you. Huh? You've obtained... A miracle cure. That's probably for his son. Bring this medicine to my daughter. There isn't much time. Okay, I'll get right on it. All right, let me save it. All right. And we got to get out of here. Bridge has been lowered. Poor Rachel. What am I going to tell her? Yes, the remedy. I need to hurry. Too bad you can't warp out of here. It's like, not allowed. Oh god. That was a big chunk of health. Yeesh. I'm kind of curious as to what's over to the right and also in the other gas room. But I want to get back out of here to... Oh god, this- Oh! There was something else down there. Well, that's why I kept saving it very often. Yo, those 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 red dogs, man, they fuck you up. 
they fuck you up, down, and left, and right, and sometimes inside out. Oh. I'm not really into getting fucked like that. Yeah, calm down, Moodle, really. What the fuck? Yikes! Yeah. I'm not wearing a mantle. <laughs> I'm about to level up again now. Yo, the challenge came out of left field, huh? I'm I'm with it though. I'm kind of excited that it's this hard now. Pause. Level the fuck up. Beef cartons! Watch out. Mm, 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 mm. There's another gas room down there, but I should take care of this first. Oh, man. Next time I come back, I'll check out the other gas room. Wait. Next is zero? Did I just reach maximum level? Is level 25 the cap? Yeah, we're at 65,535 experience, which is the highest unsigned 16-bit integer, meaning that this is the level cap. Oh god. Well, I knew I was kind of heading towards the end of the game anyway, so... If Moog was a character on Bob's Burgers, who would he be? The Speedo guy. 100% he'd be the Speedo guy. You better a male Tina. The Speedo guy mixed with Teddy? Yes. Very much yes. Wait, did I actually hit the button? I did not. Do 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 do. Wait, why am I even bothering? I can't level up anymore. I mean, and I don't think there's going to be any more shops. There's just like one more weapon and one more armor to find, and I bet you anything they're in chests or something. Who would you be? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, yeah, we're definitely at the end game. 100%. Hey, Laddock, how's my father faring? Well, actually, Laddock explained what had happened. No, oh, father. But don't worry. As long as he stays put, neither the lava nor the monsters can reach him. As soon as he gets better, I'm sure he'll return. Do you really think he will? What about the miracle cure? What about the medicine? Oh, I guess I have to have it equipped. Where is it? Is this it? Yeah, it's it. But what of the medicine? Oh, I have to use it. There we go. Oh, yes, your father left me this to give you. You gave the miracle cure. Oh, this is the remedy. Because of you, I can heal my brother. I thank you with all my heart, Latok. Latok, thank you for everything. It was nothing, really. Remember to always keep hope alive. Do you have anything for me, though? Apparently not. All right. Hmm. All right. So, okay. All right. Ugh. All right, let's go back in there. There was another room with gas that I didn't look at. And there was also like a whole area beyond the other gas thing that uh, I hadn't explored, so. But yeah, at this point, I think I can run past most enemies unless they're in my way. Because if I'm at the max level, there's no point to fighting enemies, right? 
I need that better armor. I already have the best shield, but... God, how can I get my shit enchanted if there's no town now? Okay. Go away! Wait a minute, hold on, because this is mentioning something about talking to that old guy, though. And then he's supposed to tell me something important. I mean, he talked to me, but... God damn it. Ugh. Oh, wrong one, wrong one, wrong one. It's possible that I just won't need enchanted equipment, though. Get out of my way, bitch. Get out of my fucking way. Oh my god, really? Those guys are still dangerous. Maybe it's a different old guy, I don't know, because it's like this other old guy running around. Let me talk to him. In the smoke-filled room of the lava fort, there's a chest that holds the ultimate armor. However, no one must have obtained a specific... I, okay, I know about that. Hmm, and this guy's just going, hmm. Alright. Let me read what this said again. Talk to this guy? Yeah, I know about this. Yeah, I'll go into the bastards. Alright. Well, I know what to do. It's just, I, I, it must have happened. His eyes blink super fast. That's from all the fucking smoke, Moogle. It's just, you know, very watery eyes right now. You're right, though. That dude does look like Guy from uh, Lufia. No! Leave me alone! Oh. This is telling me I could use the Rabby in the bedroom. Smoke is fucking nuts? Yeah, it is. It is. I said, it's not as bad today as it was yesterday, but it's still, it's still like, really bad, though. Let me save it. Jesus, man. That bedroom was off in this direction. Right, why am I bothering? Incorrect. Tell me something about it. It says, give Rachel the miracle medicine, speak to the old man about the third floor, and bard about the dragon ring. Like, who's bard? And he didn't tell me nothing about no dragon ring. So I'm a little, uh, a little confused by that. Sure. Alright, well, you know what? Let me, um... Maybe I have to go up to the third floor or something first. But there's at least one treasure chest that I know where I, that I can get, and I should go and get it now. This was... this was wrong. 
This way, right? Yeah. Oh! Oh, get away from me. Oh, boy. Alright. They're hot, naughty golems. What am I doing? Oh, my. Yes. Hot golems in your area, indeed. Hot naughty golems in your area. There's something inside. You've uh and the plate mail. That might have been what that might have been why, that maybe I had to have this. Let's see. Unfortunate Oh, it's already enchanted! Let's fucking go! But also my defense is b it, well, it was changed, I guess. But it's already enchanted, nice. Save it. There's one more thing that I wanted to check before I go back and try to figure out what the hell this dragon ring shit's all about. <laughs> ah, your mother! Well, it's better. It, it's less damage, though. It's not as bad as it was before. Because getting hit four times by those dogs last time would have murdered me. Oh, God. Oh, no, 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 no! Well, I, I, I saved it, so. I got caught between two knights. Wait, what am I... Where am I? I'm a little confused about where I am. Oh, here we are, okay. Yeah, yeah, okay, cool. Nine in the... T I don't know, it looked like it was exactly like that. Exactly like that Atari game, Night on the Town. <laughs> oh, 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 what are you having for dinner? I wonder what's for dinner. Oh, 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 oh. All right. Oh, oh God. Really? Okay. Um. All right. God, this is good. Oh no! A huge iron gate is blocking the stairs. There's no way I can get to the third floor for now. Okay, now I probably got to go back and talk to that dude. Ooh. Okay. I like those chicken cordon bleu things. Wait, I thought I put on the fucking gas mask. I put on the wrong thing. Oh, no. Like. Nobody made dirty games for the 5200? I guess not. I guess not. It's probably a good thing, right? Nobody needed dirty 8-bit games with slightly better graphics. Wait, not this way. Anybody here have an Atari 5200? I know someone who had an Atari 5200, but that person is an asshole. Let's see if you guys can guess which asshole that I knew had an Atari 5200. Watch out, watch out, watch out. Uh, uh, uh. Fuck off. Dickweed. Fuck off, dickweed. Chill out. Hasta la vista, baby. Right in one, Alice. It was the stupidest snake ever. And you would always talk about how, like, the Atari 5200 was, like, a really good system and shit. Which proves that he's a dom. Yeah, and he liked it. He kept talking about how it was, like, really good and stuff. Oh. Oh. Chicken cordon bleu. That sounds good, though. Bop, 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 
What's that? You want to know how to get to the third floor? Well, you see, there's a special mechanism that'll open the stairwell to you. You can find it within the chimney in the bedroom on the first floor. In the chimney? Yeah. Oh, that's what those things on the walls are. Yeah. Oh, and I must tell you that before reaching the shrine, you'll have to cross the sea of lava. A whole sea made of lava? And how am I supposed to do that? By flying, of course. Oh, really? How am I to do that? By growing a pair of wings? You could spring from the top of the fortress on Dragonback. What dragon? Or am I supposed to find one tame enough to let me hitch a ride? There exists a ring that possesses the power to summon such a beast. I'm certain it will carry he who wears the ring to the shrine. And where can I find this ring you speak of? That blessed man you see over there. His name is Bard. He should have one. Wait a minute. Hold on. I... Video games. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. A dragon? A ring? A man named Bard? In a game that has hobbits? I can't think of anything that might have inspired such a thing. Like, literally, th this game already has hobbits in it. And you're telling me there's a dragon and a ring and a dude named Bard. Chonk. Chonk. Is he a chonker? I I'm just like... Kind of like, like that is such an obvious blatant reference to the Hobbit, right? But wait, you should know that you can't use such a ring until you reach level 25. I'm level 25. Hey, what's up? Huh? A ring of invocation possessing the power to control a dragon? It's, well, do you have one? I believe I've lost it somewhere. How could you have misplaced something so valuable? I was sleeping in my quarters inside the flame fort when I was attacked by monsters. I awoke with such a startle that I just ran out as quickly as I could without even thinking. That must have been when I... Ugh. Sorry to bother you with such things. Oh yes, and while we're talking, a guy called Rune asked me to deliver a message Should someone else turn up. Rune, you say? He said, stay here and have all the fun you want. I'm going on ahead. As insulting as ever, I see. I even think I spied on the same sort of invocation ring on one of his fingers. Hmm. Very sorry. Okay, so... Alright, so I, I basically know where to get the dragon ring, but I God damn it, get out of the way! Oh my god. But I don't know where the Oh my god, get out of my way! I don't know where this uh chimney is. Get the fuck out of here. Right. I'll figure it out, but Like what the fuck, man? I should save it. Boom, 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 boom. I already have the right thing on, okay. You have destroyed Chonk. Oh, was he a, was he a heckin' Chonker? Fair enough. Oh, there's something under the bed. But I don't think I can reach it. This is where we need Rabby. Okay. Rabby, do you see that thing under there under the bed? Go fetch it for me. There, that's good. Just a little more. There, you got it. Now come back over this way. Excellent. You did a great job. Well done, Rabby. Let's see what it is. Alright, I got the dragon ring. 
I don't understand what he was talking about the chimney, though. Apparently, this is like kind of like the very, very end of the game, though. At least close enough to it. No, they said it was somebody's pet. Rabbi, you make horrifying noises. <laughs> Hold on a second. Alright, um. Yeah. Go, 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 go. Wait, hold on. Do I have the flame mantle on still? I do, okay. I don't want to find out what happens if you walk through the. If you touch the fire without the flame mantle. Like, it might just, like, hurt and throw you back, but I don't want to find out that it's, like, an instant kill or some shit, you know? Robbie has a voice like turtles fucking. Well, that'd be more like... Ah! Ah! <laughs> oh, God. You know, I took, like, a whole bunch of turtle fucking noises and made a zombie sneak attack song back in the day, and it was called Kilonophilia. And I had, like, clips from, like, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles in it. Alright. Oh, fuck it, we ball! Alright. Oh, God. That's the one that should have won a Grammy. Damn it! Wayne submitted the wrong one. Oh, God. Oh, but I don't know where this chimney is, though. He's saying the chimney. There's a mechanism on the chimney. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, it is a game over. Well, fuck. Damn it. That sucks. <laughs> I'm back here. How far back am I? Well, I... I don't know if I've talked to the guy or not, or... Why did I save it, like, right there? Yeah. Get out of my way! I'm just trying to get the damn thing. He was talking about a mechanism on the chimney, but I don't know. Um, I think it was, uh, uh, roses are red, violets are blue, I'll fuck you with a rake. So it is instant death. We learned the hard way. I said hard. <laughs> Fucking... Hopefully I'm not incorrect. Okay, I'm not incorrect. Like he said, talking about on the chimney, but where the fuck is the chimney? Yes, that's good. Yes, yes, get it, yes. It was like the whole album was called that. Uh, Kilonophilia was on the album called... What was it called? Um, I think it was called Lies All Lies. Alright, let me see if I can figure out where this chimney is. Give me a second. Oh, that chimney? That's like right by here. Okay, hold on. Duh. Ah, blast, it's too hot. So how am I supposed to reach the mechanism of all these flames? Hmm. Look, there are a bunch of large va vases filled with water on the fireplace. If I pour the water on the flames, maybe, 
There we go, the flames have definitely died down, but not enough yet. Look, there's another vase. Let's pour it out. That's what I thought it was, yeah. Perfect, the fire has been completely extinguished. <laughs> it do be like that, huh? Huh? See, th those are the moments you should clip, though, right? Aha! There's a brick missing here. If I press a little... Ha! I sure hope that worked. He's fingering the hot bricks. Now I should be able to reach the third floor. Okay. Alright, I'm thinking, though, we stop. Because we're pretty much at the end of the game. <coughs> I know, but... There's a little bit more left. And, uh... I, I wanna... I gotta pee... We're going to watch Beavis and Butthead, so we might as well stop here. But let me just real quick make sure I heal myself up. Okay, and I'm going to put the flame thing back on. And then we'll save it. Well, no, I... I yeah. Well, yeah, I guess each... each I, I just have to peep it. That is hosting... Yeah, I'm going to go host an event. Everybody's not invited, because I don't want you to watch me pee, you weirdos. What is this system? I never looked at this. Oh, it's just that? That kind of stuff. Yeah, why don't I have an Asteria? Why would it why would it default to mono? That sounds weird in stereo, but alright. No, it's good though. It's just more some instruments are more on this side. Alright. Why would it default to mono if stereo is available? That's so silly. Alright guys, we're, we're gonna call it a day. Uh, we'll beat this next time and I'll I'll set up another game. I'm not sure, I'll pick something off the list. But let's uh let's go over the schedule and then we'll do a raid. Oh my goodness. I... No thank you. No thank you, Wayne. Okay, so here's what's going on, guys. Tomorrow afternoon, we're going to be playing Mega Man 9. And if we have time, we will also be playing Mega Man 10. Both of those will be playing on, uh, on, on, on the Steam. Yeah, Steam. Uh, Saturday night, we will, of course... Oh, oh this correctly. We'll, of course, be playing more of Xenosaga Episode 1 for the PlayStation 2. Sunday night, more of Devil May Cry 2 for uh, Steam. Monday afternoon, we'll be playing Street Fighter EX, which I'm going to be playing the arcade version of. Um, Street Fighter EX has got this weird thing where some of the characters are unlockable, but they're unlockable via time release, but I'm going to try a code that I saw to see if we can get all the characters. This is like a couple of extra characters you can get that way. Yes, Street Fighter EX, like, sex. Um, sex, and now that I have your attention, here's me playing as Ryu. Um, Tuesday night, we'll, of course, be playing more of Iconoclasts like for Steam. Wednesday afternoon, more Power Wash Simulator for Steam. <coughs> oh, goddamn. Mm. Thursday night, a week from today, we'll be here to finish up the last bit of Sark, the art of visual stage. Don't know why it's called that. For the Super Famicom, and we'll move on to, like, the next game. I'm not sure what it is, but I'll pick something off the list. That being said, let's head over here and see who we have online that we can raid. Let's see. Who's getting raided, precious? Yes. I'm gonna raid Elise, who's playing Pokemans. Let's do that. Yes, yes. You all drunk my juice. You want us to put that into that? No, 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 precious. No, I don't want us. All right, let's read. I got the perfect raid call. All right. <laughs> oh, God damn. All right. Copy that, paste it as we head into Elisa's stream. I'll see you guys over there. I'll see you guys on Discord in a little bit. You just give me like a few minutes to go to the bathroom, get food and stuff, and I'll be streaming new, new episodes of Beavis and Butthead for you guys. Uh, someone should also call um, Barrel if they can. And uh, I'll also, of course, see you tomorrow afternoon for some uh, super kind of retro Mega Man stuff. And away we go. Let's run, Fitz. Let's turn big. <laughs>